Princess Anne's spectacular conservatory at Gackham Park is ideal for family parties. Princess Anne and her husband Sir Timothy Lawrence live at Gackham Park and the pair are close neighbours with the Princess Royal's two children, Zara Tyndall and Peter Phillips, who also live on the sprawling 730-acre estate in Gloucestershire with their respective families. Princess Anne, 74, resides in the main house, a grade II listed building which was a wedding gift from her late mother Queen Elizabeth II in 1976. The impressive property features enormous reception rooms, lounges, a study, a library, and a billiards room. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Now that Peter and Zara, along with Zara's husband Mike Tyndall and their three children Mia, Lena, and Lucas, both live close to their mum, it's not surprising that the family have ensured they have plenty of space to come together for joint celebrations. The family already has their famous party barn to utilize, a converted barn with high beam ceilings, a fully fitted kitchen, and a wine fridge ideal for soirees but Anne's enormous home also has a spectacular conservatory to the side of the building, which would be ideal for hosting dinner parties and family get-togethers. From exterior photographs of Gatcombe Park, the west wing of the home has a generously sized, conservatory-style room which has floor-to-ceiling windows and a glass roof. It appears this orangery-style area is all one room, and while it's not confirmed exactly how the family make the most of this part of Gatcombe, the huge space and beautiful glass ceiling make it the perfect space to place a large dining table in the centre, perhaps for Christmas dinner or family birthday parties. The glass door and ceiling also allow plenty of daylight to flood the entire room, which would be stunning during the summer months and cosy during winter sunsets. Princess Anne has rarely shown photographs inside her home, only giving royal fans a glimpse of what the rooms might look like during a Zoom call from her study, and when she and Timothy were pictured watching television in their living room. The interiors of the rest of the home, however, remain a mystery. In 2021, a photograph was shared on the royal family's official Instagram page, showing Anne and her husband, 69, relaxing on their sofa while watching sport. The room featured classic wooden accents such as wooden bookcases and a wooden cabinet, though the television is far more modern. The Princess Royal has also kept cosy, patterned sofas in the room for them to rest and watch TV. The photo also showed plenty of trinkets, framed photographs and beautiful paintings all in the modestly sized lounge. Princess Anne has resided at the enormous Gatcombe Park in Gloucestershire since the 1970s when her late mother, Queen Elizabeth II, gifted the stunning Georgian home to Anne as a wedding present. At the time, Princess Anne had just married Captain Mark Phillips, and the home has been her pride and joy over the years. Although the Princess Royal, 73, and Mark are no longer married, the former couple welcomed two children Zara Tyndall and Peter Phillips at the home. What's more, Anne's grown-up children still live close to the huge house with their own families. Gatcombe Park is impressive in size. The home has five main bedrooms, an orangery, four reception rooms and a library, so it's clear the abode has the stature of a royal residence. But there is one room in Princess Anne's home, where she now lives with her husband Sir Timothy Lawrence, that is perhaps more on the humble side for a royal's house. In one photo that was taken back in the days during Anne and Mark's marriage, the royal's former husband, was seen conversing in the study of Gatcombe Park. The black and white snap, taken in 1983, about ten years before the couple divorced, showed Mark sitting on the fireplace of the study, which is beautiful but seemingly modest in size. In the corner of the room, a large white bookcase is mounted on the wall. The shelves are decorated with plenty of books, trinkets and framed photos, giving the room a warm and cosy feel. There are also horse ornaments on the bookcase, perfect for Anne as a self-confessed horse lover and former Olympic equestrian. 